try to investigate or see what the noises they've been hearing. We'll set up cameras and try to take, uh, catch anything we can in normal on video and then analyze it. I've had some experiences when I've come in here, especially in the theater by myself, at night to open up or, or look for some costumes or pick up some scripts. Uh, others as, w as well have reported different feelings, presence, sightings. We have a tech booth um, here at the Wake Civic Theater. And in the booth, uh, traditionally, um, I've seen it. There have been many people who have seen it um, from cast through the years. And even before I was here, um, a face in the booth. Um, if you look up and it's kind of dark, you can see actually a face looking out at you from the booth. There's also, when you're in the costume shop um, upstairs, um, there is a little girl um, who laughs. Um, you'll hear her giggle and it's really kind of creepy because you realize you're the only one in the theater and there's a little girl giggling running around in the costume somewhere. We pick these things up that are said on recordings. Sometimes the actual digital recorder on the camera itself will pick them up, but we don't hear them with our ears. Sometimes we get direct answers on these recorders through from the questions we ask. We get names that way, we get them and some of them are vile, too. They'll tell us things we don't want to hear. All the uh, investigations we've been on, there's only been one or, or two of them that we have not caught anything on, voices, anything. Uh, the best one we've had so far is the Dr. Pepper Museum, where we actually chased, um, actually had a shadow, a man light shadow, uh, in our viewfinder, just like you have me and yours right now coming, uh, materializing, walking down the hallway and going into a wall. And we were ecstatic. We thought we had finally got the mother load, but when we went and put it on tape and looked at it, and this was with our IR camera, that never showed up on tape. The property that we're, we've got a business on was inhabited before we got there. <laughs> the neighbors said it was, uh, they saw stuff there before we ever moved there. We didn't think too much about it, but they don't bother us, we don't bother them. You know, one night we were sitting it was late, we were up working late, we were on the computer, and in one end of our store, there's a cabinet with a bunch of stuff sitting on it, and from the middle of this cabinet, a can of lighter fluid leaped up over everything else and landed out in the middle of the floor. And uh, we got so accustomed to stuff around there moving and happening like that, that uh, we just looked at each other and my wife says, oh well, and we went back to work. <laughs> I'm going to use this ball as something to try to draw the little girl that they hear up in the costume room. They, they hear a little girl. Sounds like she's running up there. Mr. Bob, he was a, one of the actors here. They said he contributed a lot to the Waco Civic Theater over the years. This is a top hat he used to wear. He liked to play the villain. But I have his hat and I'm gonna try to get Mr. Bob to come talk to us as well. Is that you over there? You following us? Come on, Mr. Smith, if that's you, we, we won't hurt you. We just want to get to know you. We've heard some wonderful things about you. Come and talk to us. Is there a little girl here? If you're a little girl, make the flashlight come back on. Flashlight's trying to come on. Come on, you can do it. I want to know who it is. Are you Mr. Smith? Well, I believe there is an afterlife, but I'm a pretty good Christian. At least I like to believe I am. And uh, I know what the Bible tells us is true. And uh, I believe in the Holy Ghost above all. Um, I believe the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, gives us power over others. As a matter of fact, I rely on that. <laughs> <laughs>